Welcome back to another Red Dead Mystery Revisited. I wasn't initially planning on making more, but people were asking, so I thought I'd make a compromise. I will likely do a few of these, depending on whether or not the video that I initially did on the subject holds up. If I don't feel as if it was as good as I can make it, or if it misses out key information, then I may just revisit it, such as in today's video, because we are revisiting the mysterious ghost town of Pleasance. Whilst exploring the state of Lemoyne, you may come across an abandoned town just west of Bluewater Marsh. The town named Pleasance was established in August of 1883, and yet only by 1899 is already abandoned. In fact, it appears to have been abandoned for quite some time. So the question is, what happened here at Pleasance? Fortunately, there are some clues laying around that can help yield the answers. On the doors to a barn, we can find the words Stay Out Plague written in white paint. And on another house in the town, you can find the words Unclean Sinners and Ill With Sin written on the walls and door. So you would be forgiven for believing that it was a plague that felled the town of Pleasance. However, Things aren't that simple. Outside the church at the centre of the town, you can find 10 graves. Each of these graves is unique with individual markings, however, they all register death on the same date, the 17th of September 1883, only a month after the town was established. Each individual grave here is also marked with a gruesome cause of death, either murder, gunshot, or knife wound, which means that on the 17th of September 1883, Pleasance was the site of a massacre that destroyed the prospects of this town before they could ever have been realised. However, what's this about a plague and the town being ill with sin? How can that be when the graves remember the fallen of this town so fondly? We also have the collapsed frame of a building that appears to be burnt up, and an old schoolhouse that appears to be burnt up, and then a tree fell on it. In other words, for a town named Pleasance, it doesn't appear to be very pleasant. Now that we've got a general idea of what this place is all about, let's try to figure out what happened here. Perhaps the easiest place to start is with the barn that says Stay Out Plague. The locals of Pleasance maybe came down with some form of sickness that couldn't be described or treated, and this barn is likely the, or at least a, source, hence why there's a warning to stay out of it. It could also be a mass grave for infected residents. Many believe this is a zombie plague or something along those lines, mostly due to supposed similarities with The Walking Dead and it could be a reference to that, I don't know. However, what we know is there was some definition of the word plague occurring at Pleasance. Now onto the messages ill with sin and unclean sinners. Maybe some people believed the residents of Pleasance to be sinful and maybe they saw the plague that struck the town so quickly after it was formed, a reckoning for those sins, that or it's simply referencing those who carried out the massacre and tainted this place with their sins. I'm not so sure if the residents were sinful considering the messages on the graves imply that the residents of Pleasance were kind, devoted, loving, and gone too soon with others saying may they find peace in heaven. It's all down to interpretation I know, but somebody saw fit to put these graves there, though I could only find that particular detail on the graves of children. So maybe in its brief existence the town of Pleasance was something of a sinful society, after all it was only set up the month prior to the massacre, which means it was likely a breakaway community from elsewhere maybe because they weren't accepted where they were. And whatever they were doing when they got here, very clearly quite quickly got them killed. As for the killers, killing an entire town, which appears to have been accomplished here, would require more than one person carrying out the act. And considering some were stabbed and others were shot, I think this was likely done by either a posse or a gang. It didn't have to be particularly massive, but it was on some level an organized assault on the town of Pleasance. This could have been done for a couple of reasons. Maybe the people of Pleasance were up to something dubious, to the point where it needed to be stopped at all costs. 
or they were so dedicated to an independent lifestyle that they were completely unprotected by the law and therefore fell victim to a particularly ruthless gang of outlaws, of which this region has an abundance. And being weakened with a plague on top of the fact that they were independent would make them an incredibly easy target. However, that particular theory does unfortunately leave a lot of blanks. In video games, inconsequential discoveries like this are often designed to make you think because more often than not they are references to something. Which brings us to a theory popularised by content creator Strange Man, and that is the theory that the residents of Pleasance were Satanists. Now, I've jumped in at the deep end here, so I'm going to pull back and explain. The theory goes that the town of Pleasance in Red Dead Redemption 2 is a reference to an abandoned town in Ohio that's now known as Helltown. And I will not lie, upon some research, Helltown and Pleasance do share a lot of striking similarities. But what is the story of Helltown? Originally, Helltown was known as Boston Village, Ohio. Up until 1974, the village of Boston was relatively uneventful until President Gerald Ford signed a bill that gave the federal government's National Park Service jurisdiction to expropriate land for the establishment of national parks. Boston was the site of one of these expropriations, with the National Park Service buying the properties of its long-term residents. The people left the village and the buildings were boarded up with no trespassing signs. However, the government fell behind on its plan to turn Boston, Ohio into a national park, and so ever since, the village has remained neglected, and today it's little more than a ghost town. In 1985, the National Park Service acquired the local Crashy Dump. Upon rangers visiting the site, they became ill and covered in rashes, soon discovering that the dump was highly polluted with toxic chemicals improperly disposed of. And so as you can imagine, Boston Village, Ohio, now known as Helltown, became subject to various rumours. One theory was that the infamous Crashy Dump mutated the local wildlife. Another theory was that Helltown's Presbyterian Church was built by Satanists and is complete with upside down crosses. There's also an abandoned school bus that is said to be host to ghosts. Of course, all of these theories have been refuted pretty conclusively, however, there are some similarities to Pleasance here. Allow me to explain. Pleasance's church has no Christian cross on it, and therefore is not immediately identified as Christian. Considering there is no haunted school bus, because Red Dead is set 100 years prior, instead we have a school house, and it definitely gives off eerie vibes. And now finally, Helltown's most popular rumoured mutant was a giant python known as the Peninsula Python. Well, just south of Pleasance in Red Dead Redemption 2, you can find a giant snake laying lifeless in the tree. And just like how the same spill that allegedly created this python also made rangers unwell, it says stay out plague on the barn in Pleasance because something was making the people of Pleasance unwell too. So combine the Helltown theory about Satanists building a church, the references to sinners in Pleasance, and the fact that the village is built next to a crossroads, which is in folklore a popular meeting spot with the devil, then I can definitely see where this Satanist argument is coming from. However, I really don't think the people of Pleasance were Satanists. I think this theory would probably go a little bit more full circle. Upon this research, I do believe that Pleasance may in fact be a nod to Helltown. The residents are simply just remembered too fondly by somebody who buried them as Christians. Which makes me think that in Red Dead lore, the rumour is the residents of Pleasance were Satanists. And somebody acted on that rumour, and just like with Helltown in the real world, it just isn't the case, but it would explain why they were massacred and then they were given Christian burials and remembered fondly. That or they were killed because somebody wanted the land and they could get away with that rather than buying the properties up like the US government did for Boston, Ohio, but just like with Boston, Ohio wound up doing nothing with the site. However, there is a giant snake ah, However, there is a giant snake in a tree just south of Pleasance that could poke a hole in my theory that these people weren't Satanists and were just believed to be by the wrong people, as some rumours in this Helltown easter egg may have been true. Maybe it's worth noting that snakes can get pretty large without the assistance of a 
chemical spillage, but where is the fun in that? So were the people of Pleasance Satanists, and were they killed for that, or were they just mistaken for Satanists and killed? Or could there be a more reasonable explanation? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. It's also probably worth mentioning that at this point in history, Satanism was usually used as an accusation by various Christian groups towards perceived ideological opponents rather than a self-identified religion. And while that entire theory is pretty cool and it could be correct, it may also just not be. But if there's one part of this link that I do subscribe to, it's the idea that somebody wanted the residents of Pleasance off this land. Which is kind of obvious because somebody killed them all. But 16 years later the place has just been left behind. Anything could have happened. Maybe Pleasance was struck by a plague and to prevent the spread, somebody killed everyone in the town which would explain the gunshot victims, but not the knife wound victims, and it definitely wouldn't explain why somebody went through all the effort to bury them. That one doesn't really make any sense, but that's the thing about this place, nothing really does. Not particularly, anyway. So I started to think a little bit more outside the box. What if they were weakened by a sickness, and then they were preyed on. The killers are unknown, and there's nothing to suggest it was the Lemoyne Raiders who may have been active in the area at the time, or the Night Folk who may not have even been active in the area at that time. So I started to look at the theories that I could find online, and one of them led me to the Aberdeen pig farm. The theory goes that Bray Aberdeen uses a gun, and Tammy Aberdeen uses a knife, therefore they must be the killers. However, I doubt this is the case. I do understand where this theory is coming from. The placement of the Aberdeen Pig Farm's mass grave is slap bang in the middle between the Aberdeen Pig Farm and Pleasance. So maybe it is somewhat logical to think the Aberdeens killed the people of Pleasance in order to cover up their murderous pastime. And the people of Pleasance could have easily stumbled upon this pretty quick. And it's also clear, considering the state of some of the bodies in the mass grave, that the Aberdeens have been at this for quite a while. But timing really throws this little known theory under, hence why I don't wish to clog up too much of the video talking about it. See, Pleasance was both established in 1883 and the massacre occurred a month later. This is a picture of the Aberdeen family in 1878, only five years prior. You can see quite clearly that Bray has a lot more than five years of growing up to do, and Tammy has even further being a toddler. So unless Pleasance was massacred by children, I just really doubt that this has any connection whatsoever. Don't get me wrong, Bray Aberdeen is a proven murderous monster of a man, as he's huge, and as a kid, in the picture you can see that he is not the smallest of characters. However, I don't see a 10 year old Bray Aberdeen, a man who will openly admit that he keeps his dead mother in the fucking cupboard, being smart enough to single handedly massacre an entire town and then get away with it. Especially when such an act will be detached completely from their future modus operandi in their own murderous killings. Unless the Aberdeen siblings' parents also have their own twisted and dark secrets, which wouldn't be the most shocking thing ever considering their kids grow up to be incestuous serial killers, but nothing implies that in the slightest, so I do have my doubts. So to shoot that theory out of the sky, I'm sorry, I do not think the Aberdeen pig farm being in close proximity to what happened at Pleasance in September of 1883 is relevant in the slightest. Another theory I've seen is that Agnes Dowd, the ghost lady of Blue Water Marsh, which can be found very close by at night, was somehow responsible for the death that occurred in Pleasance. Now the reason why this theory exists is because on Agnes Dowd's grave it says that she tragically took her own life and others, however I believe that references different killings considering this occurred on the 4th of September 1883, not the 17th. And yes, this is confirmed to be the ghost lady's identity because it's her name in the game files. Now she probably didn't miraculously come back from the dead two weeks after her own demise just to end an entire town's existence. And based on the voice lines you can hear her saying in the bayou as a ghost, it's more likely that if she was going to be killing anyone it would be her own family which appeared to live at Shady Bell at the time, considering this is where she's buried. The process of elimination is really narrowing down the options here. <laughs> Sorry, that's a really bad pun. You can also find plentiful moonshine bottles around the house that is marked ill with sin and unclean sinners. So maybe there was some moonshine operation that occurred either around the time of Pleasance or at some point after it in this area. I think that could have been put there by anyone. But what we want to know is what happened to the people of Pleasance. Well, it's obvious that somebody wanted them off this land and killed them to get the land. Or at the very least, to vacate the town so that any future plans 
could be realised here, however they weren't, in a similar way to Boston Township, Ohio. And maybe that particular someone is right under our noses. Between the two burnt out buildings, we can find a blue barrel branded with the name Cornwall Kerosene and Tar. Leviticus Cornwall is a ruthless robber baron who has no regard for other people, so he would not hesitate to murder a town if he felt like it would further his own goals. I find it interesting that this barrel can be found between the two burnt out buildings here at Pleasance because this would not be the first time his barrels were found at the site of a fire. If we head to the burnt down town of Limpany, you can find these barrels simply in abundance. Does this mean that Cornwall had Limpany burnt down? Maybe, but I start to find it interesting when Pleasance has a similar discovery on a smaller scale. Would Leviticus Cornwall have a town burnt down or have a town massacred to further his own goals? I would believe so. There are plenty of examples of Leviticus Cornwall using underhanded tactics and outright nefarious deeds to get his own way. For example, he murders the independent owner of an oil derrick in the Heartlands. Obviously not directly, he has him killed, he doesn't get his own hands dirty. He may or may not have had a hand in hiring people to poach bison and make it look like it was Native Americans in order to help make an argument in removing the Native Americans from land that he's interested in. He has a private army of hired guns that he hires to hunt down the Vandalin gang, and these enforcers could very easily massacre a town and have it covered up in a way where there's no liability for Cornwall kerosene and tar. Cornwall is unscrupulous and will utilise any means at his disposal to achieve his goals. He has no regard for the law and is indifferent to those that he hurts. So could he have an entire town killed on the prospect of land and then later discover that it's not worth his while and feel nothing? Absolutely. Even if that land is ridden with plague, as Pleasance appears to have been, sure, because he has no regard for anyone's lives but his own. Perhaps a sickness would even have aided Cornwall in making this as easy and quiet as possible. But what was this plague? Well, inside the schoolhouse we can find a bottle. This bottle is labelled Quick Neutralising Cordial for Rheumatism and Cholera Relief. Considering the murky waters of the bayou nearby, I would not be surprised if cholera struck the town, even if the water drank was drawn from a well. Maybe not the most interesting of explanations, but it certainly is one. That being said, cholera untreated can kill you very quickly, so it would make more sense to wait it out and keep your hands clean than just go in guns blazing and kill everyone unless these people weren't the infected and the infected are actually in a mass grave in the barn. As for unclean sinners and ill with sin, maybe they were written on this house after the town was massacred, out of the unfounded belief of the few that much like with Helltown, the residents of Pleasance were satanists or devil worshippers. I hear there's a difference though I'm not familiar with it, but in reality they weren't and plenty of people knew that too, hence why they're lovingly remembered on their graves. Alternatively, the residents of this house were the ones that were infected with cholera, and by the rest of the town they were considered to be unclean sinners and were therefore ill with their sins. And then the rest of the town were massacred in a completely unrelated event, which may or may not have something to do with Leviticus Cornwall wanting this land for his own purposes and then in the end doing nothing with it, which is a decent little callback to Helltown which this may or may not be a reference to. I believe there are some connections between this Helltown Ohio and Pleasance in game, but I don't think that that immediately means that the residents of Pleasance were somehow Satanists or devil worshippers. I believe this is an easter egg thrown in with a bit of world building to set up the destructive path of Leviticus Cornwall for those who'd care to look for it, and the hint is so subtle that it may mean something or it may mean nothing. But the truth is this one is just too open ended to ever be officially solved. I have my theory, others have other theories, I'd love to hear your theory down in the comments section. I'm aware there may be possibilities that I haven't touched down on on the top of my head. Maybe somebody perceived the town of Pleasance as responsible for the death of Agnes Dowd and exacted revenge, or maybe the town was simply cursed by a more supernatural force that explains a lot of the issues away. But honestly, I like the theory that the town just had an unlucky run, being struck first by a plague and then falling victim to Leviticus Cornwall, who at times can be a bit of an immoral opportunist. But under no circumstance does that mean that I am correct or anybody else is. So let me know your thoughts. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff. That would be super fantastic. And if you feel like it, please do whack on the notification button. It really helps. And with any luck, I'll be seeing you all very soon with another video at some point. But until next time, please take care and goodbye.